Mm. Okay, shall we? I'm going to be behind you that you will talk to me. Now, about, how about Daphne? Okay. Now, this is Hungarian goulash, which I'm making. Now, Daphne, you are, you are from Hungary, right? Uh-huh. See, <laughs> you could help me. I don't know the Czech goulash and Hungarian goulash. I don't know how different it is, but I think it's, uh, it's really not that different. The most important thing really is the good Hungarian paprika, which I have here. And it's always a struggle. My mother, she brings it to me from Czechoslovakia. And that's the most important ingredient. So what I'm going to do, I'm just chopping a lot of onions. Uh -huh. And uh, once I do that, I will put a little oil in the pot, put the onions on it, saute it until it gets, um, until it gets nice rust color. Put the meat in. Okay, let's see, I already chopped some of the onions because you really need here a lot of onions. onions. Okay. I should wait on that. And we get more of the onions in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, it smells really nice. Oh, nice. it smells so Clean good. up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, a little bit of that. So now we have, we have that. We're going to put it, let me just, before I do that, I'm just going to probably make the pieces. You go to the butcher and you ask them for the goulash meat. Now you don't take the filet mignon, which is, uh, which is totally lean. Because you have to have a little bit of fat in it. I'm crying for the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I don't take a filet mignon. I take a little bit of the meat, which is a little fat on, okay. because it's a little bit more juicy. And I'm going to put these ones a little bit too big. Not bad. And so I just prepare it. This one it's all right. This one it's a little bit big. So this is okay. It's a little bit too much fat in here. Mm. How do you keep this figure with goulash and all this fat thing and Gary and go It's unbelievable. I really, I eat. Um, I don't eat breakfast. I have a. I have a tea. I was. I used to drink coffee. I used to drink five, six, seven cups of coffee a day, and then go espresso at the night. Now suddenly I wasn't sleeping, so I knew that it had to be espresso at the night. So I don't drink coffee anymore. So I, in the morning I have uh, grapefruit juice with children and 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 tea. And no, I don't eat. Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays for the weekend, I might have a good, good, uh, healthy breakfast. Uh -huh. But then I have, if I have lunch, and that's not very often, I have a lunch, I have fruit during the day, and then at the evening I celebrate. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I eat everything I can get the hand on. It's not very, I don't think it's very healthy, but it works for me. Mm -hmm. You know, because during the day because you have a you're meeting. Because you lost weight. You're even skinnier than I remember. Uh, I'm, I'm usually on, I'm pretty much on my same weight. I'm about 114, maximum 116 pounds. This and uh, I had been like that, but maybe you saw me, you know, being pregnant <laughs> in the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I had those three beautiful children. But uh, I'm, I eat, I eat everything. Only one thing which I don't eat, it's rice pudding. I just don't enjoy it, I hate it. <laughs> but not because it, because this is fattening yeah. and it's high cholesterol, yeah. but it's terribly good, I know. Yeah. No, this one Can I help stuff. you? Sure, let's, uh, let's go oh. in here, we get in here. We have our stuff and then we're just going okay. to go and put this guy. It's going to take us a little bit time now. Now so it would right be better to get a doing? nice glass of wine and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have to wait, you know. It's going to take a little time until the onion. Okay, hold on a second. Get over there. Okay. We can just wait and take it again. Just start it. We can just, just wait a little, little bit. I don't want to. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, now it is going to get translucent and then it's going to get red. All right. Do you do it often, the goulash? Goulash, well, uh, children, they like it. No, they I like it, so them. I do goulash or. My mother, she's here all summer long, so she really takes over the kitchen and she does fantastic chicken paprika and, uh, you know, all kind of different chicken meals. Oh. They're yeah, fantastic. We do a lot of barbecues, yes. you know, outside. It's so nice and uh -huh. we do a combination of the, of the meat, beef and the, of the spare ribs and the sausages and a little bit lamb chop and with that we have baked potatoes and corn and it's great. Okay, we have that every weekend, you know, usually for the lunch. At the evening, we take, last night, uh, I have taken children to the Chinese restaurant. Do you love cooking? I like cooking. Mm -hmm. Because it seems mm -hmm. like you really love yeah, it. You're really no, handling it very nicely. Yes. You can go and you can really be creative and you can try the new recipes it's as much as to do the old ones. Today for the lunch, we, had, uh, we bought the fresh, uh, fresh fish. 
on Friday we bought the tuna and we bought the salmon and we bought the swordfish. And on Friday evening for dinner, I wasn't hungry, the children came, they came much earlier. So we just make the raw fish in sashimi out of, out of the swordfish and out of the tuna with a little bit of the shrimp on the side. And that was great. And, and today we took the rest of the fish uh -huh. and just, just uh, you know, sauteed it. And uh, it was just great with some herbs, yeah. just a big lemon, just squeeze <laughs> it on, baked potato, nice bowl of salad, it was great. Oh, let's get a little bit heat into it. Yeah, that's going to take, goulash will take us 45 minutes. So. 45 minutes until it's cooked or until it's, yeah, what you have to do now, what we're going to do when it is going to be pink, we're going to put the meat on, a little bit of the salt and the Hungarian paprika. And leave it. You know, stir it a little bit and, and cook it for about two minutes. And then, then put the water in and just cover it up and let it, let it saute in for about, really for about 45 minutes. Then you, then you take it out, you take the juice, some of the juice out. On the other, in the other cup, you make, you make, you take a water and flour. Uh -huh. You mix it together, you know, heat it up, cook it a little bit, and then, then just put it all over the whole thing, and it makes the sauce, you know, the heavier sauce that spicy. it's not watery. No, it doesn't make it spicy. It makes it the sauce. It's uh, not one of those dripping, watery uh, uh -huh. uh, sauces that it has a substance. And and that is that. And how do you serve it? With what kind? You of you serve it well in in Czechoslovakia, and I think in Hungary you serve it with with Czech dumpling. Yeah. It's Czech sure. dumpling, and uh, in here, if I don't have a dumpling, I had a Czech chef, which was fabulous, and he made me a lot of dumplings, which you put in freezer, you can take it out, oh, yeah, yeah. you can use it. But if you don't have that, you can make it with either rice or, or uh, uh, pasta, it, it's very good with it, or just simply wonderful rye bread, mm. you know, fresh hot rye bread, it's, it's terrific. But you can't freeze it. Goulash? Actually, goulash, you can freeze goulash. You can yeah. freeze goulash. Actually, goulash is better the second and third day. Really? Because the taste of all the juices and everything gets into the meat. Hmm. And actually, it's better the second and third day. Oh, mm -hmm. so convenient. It's like a soup, some of the soup, bean soup or lentil soup. You know, they better the second and third day. Mm -hmm. Or segedin, segedin goulash. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> goulash, do I love that one? But that's with the sauerkraut. Yeah, pretty much the same technique, but it's the sauerkraut. Why do you look at it? It looks great. Yeah. This is red paprika. I did a little bit of the salt. Quite a bit of paprika. Mm -hmm. Great, doesn't it? Look at that. And let's give it the color. Let's give it the And Hungarian paprika, the best. Okay. Okay, now I put the water in. You have to flood it, not totally about that because it's now you're going to start to simmer. And this is it. Okay. I'm going to put a cover on it. This is a big cover, let's say. Another cover. This one it's too this it this one it's okay. Perfect. Alright. And that's it for 45 minutes. Have a get a glass wow. of red wine. <laughs> <laughs>